I became a pediatric gastroenterologist because of my family's history of inflammatory bowel disease. I was diagnosed at the age of 15 with ulcerative colitis and my grandmother had it, my aunt had it, now my brother and my uncle also have it. It's probably my kind of guiding light as a researcher. It, it inspires me to think up questions that have come from my own experience so that I can answer those in research and it gives me a little bit of a lens to understand patients a bit better. One of the big problems in inflammatory bowel disease care is that we don't have a way to say, you should get this medicine. That's what should be the medicine for you. And we just try and fail and try and fail until we find something. My project for the Distinguished Scholars Award is to look at using pharmacogenomics, which is using your own personal genetic data and trying to guess what medicine you might have adverse effects to, what medicine might work better for you, and to pick that medicine from the start. So I have a panel that can tell you what medication to start, and then we can see, does it help? Can we use this panel in the clinic? Does it help the provider? Does it help the patient? Does it lead to improved outcomes with improved clinical remission and decreased adverse events? If you treat early I mean IBD, it really can change the trajectory of someone's life by getting that medicine right and getting it right quickly. Mount Sinai is the perfect place for a researcher like me for really myriad reasons. It is the birthplace of Crohn's. There's a picture of Dr. Burrell Crone, and I walk by it as I go to my office every day, and I reflect almost daily on just how amazing it is to get to work at a place where he was. The Distinguished Scholar Award allows me to really get a little bit of a spotlight. The support that Sinai is providing through things like this grant can be really meaningful um, to allow women to stay in their field and to be successful scientists. I'm in such a supportive environment, having all of these amazing mentors, having this focus on gender equity, and it's really helped me to thrive. This award is giving me back a little bit of time with my family. I get to spend some of my research days at home so I can be both a mom and a scientist. My goal for prevention, it's a little selfish in that I have a, a child who has a high genetic risk for inflammatory bowel disease. It would be nice to know if he developed it, I could make sure that he got the right therapy. I hope just to inspire in him his overall love and reverence for how beautiful science can be.